You don't like purple teeth. I don't like purple teeth, but we love red wine. I also love coffee and a lot of other things too. I'm inspired by Susan O'Sullivan, a young lady that I met at my other job at the Anarchist Winery up in Napa Valley. And uh, we were talking about, you know, how to get stains off your teeth. She had these little toothbrushes and it inspired me to think of, you know, what's a good way to get wine stains off your teeth, hopefully without like using toothpaste and getting some mint in your teeth. And then you can't taste the wine, so you have to kind of stop drinking for a while. So we're going to do that. I've got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six items here, and we're going to test it out and see what's available to you so you can keep the party going, take a great picture, and then go back and enjoy your wine. So this is Wine by the Bay TV. I'm George. Stick around. Let's get started. Okay, everyone, welcome back to another episode of Wine by the Bay TV. I'm your host, George Bachara. This is my least favorite time of the year. It's the holiday season. As you can see, Santa Claus, the reindeer, all the packages. I don't have my Scrooge hat, my Scrooge uh, shirt on me, rather. Uh, that's coming sooner or later, but um, it is the holiday season. But it doesn't take the holidays to know that a lot of pictures happen, especially when the wine is flowing. And then you have these purple teeth if you're drinking red wine, or if you just drink a lot of coffee or that kind of thing and then you try and take a decent picture and you look like you haven't brushed your teeth in like eight months. So nobody wants that. So I was talking to a young lady named Sue O'Sullivan. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, she was down at the, the Anarchist Wine Tasting Room in Napa Valley, and we got to chatting a little bit and this kind of subject came up. So I thought I'd get a few different options for you and let's talk about what your choices are to uh, clean up those teeth so you can take a great picture and then continue enjoying your wine. Okay, so uh, Megan's gonna sit in the peanut gallery uh, back there behind the camera and she's gonna help me read these things because I think everybody realizes that my eyesight is not what it used to be and frankly, they've never been as good as I thought it was. So I sometimes am challenged by these little little notes on the back here and all that stuff. So she's gonna help us out with that. Say hi, Megan. Hello, everybody. Okay, so I guess the first thing we'll do is the toothbrushes. So this is a four-in-one eco brush. And I'll cut all these in, obviously, so you get a good look at everything. So when I was talking to Sue at the winery, she had a toothbrush, but it had toothpaste in it. Oh. Um, so, you know, that minty flavor will screw up your orange juice. It'll certainly oh. screw up your wine oh. and it'll screw up your coffee. So I was thinking that's what kind of started my thought process on this. So I found these. These are four and one eco brushes. It's 10 to a pack. Mm. And I guess they're BPA free. They have like a little, uh, like a, like a string. To do flossing, you can brush. Pop them out. Yeah, mm -hmm. there's a couple things. So why okay. don't you open that up? Okay. These particular ones are Heinen, Heinen travel toothbrushes, oral care, four in one biodegradable, disposable toothbrush. Uh, it has a floss pick on it, has a scraper. There's a lot of good stuff. By the way, I'm reading off my tablet, so I guess I'll put that over here so it doesn't look weird that I'm looking all the way over here. So they're four in one toothbrushes. They're eco friendly. Uh, they're individually wrapped. They're great for office travel, school. They are not specifically for opening up, uh, for dealing with wine. They're just general toothbrushes. But again, they don't have any kind of like toothpaste or anything like that. Are you having a hard time opening them up? Okay, I, well, we should have had a okay. knife. But look at how they come. Okay, so they come in a large box and then the little box. Yes. Okay. And then when you pop them out, they are just a, like a little baby toothbrush. Yeah, they're literally a little baby toothbrush. That is pretty cool though. And a little flosser, so you can kind of just like use it. Okay. So it two comes, in a box. So oh, it's two in a box. Looks like a toothbrush with a little uh, flosser on the bottom, but it comes apart too, like ah, that, and you have a little toothpaste. Love that. I don't know if you can see that or not. I'll, again, I'll take pictures and cut this in for you so you can see it. Right. Okay, so a 10 count is $9.98. A pack of 40 is $20. Um, you know, you brush your teeth, you use it, and you throw them away. Yeah. So that's the easiest, most obvious way to do things. Of course, this won't necessarily remove stains because there's no stain removing property. It will just be water and the actual toothbrush. The next one is wine knots. Oh, yeah, I've seen N -O -T -S, these. N-O-T-S, wine knots. I've seen these definitely in, like, case you are Oh, you've seen them in tasting rooms? Yeah, that, that box I actually recognize. So these are gluten-free and vegan, just an FYI. Okay, and it says on the back, but well, why don't you read what's on the back? Okay. 
Enjoy red wine without the embarrassing mouth discoloration it causes. Just place a wine knots effervescent tablet in your mouth and let it dissolve in moments. Red wine discoloration on your teeth, tongue, and lips simply disappear. Cheers. We yeah, gotta try there's, only, this out. there's only one thing with this though. This one has a lemon lime flavor and it freshens your breath. Oh. So it will change the flavor in your mouth. It will affect the way this you taste This is maybe wine. like when you're done. Yeah, maybe rinse, like rinse your, your mouth. Rinse your mouth with a lot of water, give it 10 minutes and start up again. Yeah. So, and again, I'll cut this in, but there's a little tablet that I guess you literally put under your tongue mm -hmm. and it dissolves. It gives, gives your uh, mouth like a lemon lime flavor. Mm -hmm. And there's uh, it's a box of 12 individual tablets, $20.66 currently on Amazon. Of course, these prices are going to change over time. Right. So I'm going to leave links in the description box uh, for everything that we're testing here. So that way you can see what your options are. You can buy through those links and shop uh, online at Amazon. I'm not, you know, affiliated with Amazon. Well, I am kind of affiliated with the affiliate <laughs> program, but I'm not being paid by Amazon type of thing. Everybody goes to Amazon. <laughs> so if you need me to take you to Amazon, you got bigger problems. <laughs> but all these products will be on Amazon. There'll be links in the, in the description box below. Plus, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Hit the little bell icon. Tell us about your methodology for how you use these things. And if yes. you happen to use one of these products and you have some inside information, please leave them in the comments below. We'd love to hear them. And by the way, I'm not going to try any of these products going forward for right now. I'll come back and do an update episode maybe in a few weeks once we've had a chance to use some of these products and we'll kind of update you. But it shouldn't stop you from trying them out. I mean, all these things are... $20 and below. There's no reason not to give it a shot. Next one. This is going to be wine whites, which are these right here. Oh, I like that. Okay. Those are tiny too. Yeah, I think they come in some sort of compact. In fact, they do because here we go. Oh, great. Oh, I like, Looks that. like that. It's like a little makeup container. So it's good for the ladies in terms of having a bag to put them in. I mean, this is slim enough, really. That as a guy, you could put them in your pocket if you mm -hmm. really wanted to. You didn't have to carry a bag around. Okay, so that's for you. You want to open one of those. They're like little, um, do you guys remember? I don't know, maybe I'm too old. Uh, that, those Noxzema skin pads yeah. with the alcohol on them for your for your pimples when you were, when you were in high school. <laughs> it kind of looks like that. So that's what it looks like to me. There's a mirror included uh, for the compact so you can see, you can wipe your teeth down. And they do kind of look like those pads. Yep, they certainly do. And they have a little bit, they have a little bit of like a closed box smell. Mm -hmm. Like they smell a little funky, but they don't smell like mint or anything, which is good. Yeah. Well, I like it that you could just put that right on your teeth and not get it all over your tongue. Did you say you tried it before? No, no. But I you've seen them before. Yes, I've seen. I've seen the wine knots and I, I, I think I've seen these before too. So it even says here on the Amazon uh, little description site here, it says, uh, wine, tourism is, wine tourism essential for when you're touring Napa Valley or wine regions in Washington, Oregon, or abroad. Don't be caught with wine stained smile while you're visiting the more beautiful, luxurious parts of the world. So it even tells you this is great for traveling. So that's obviously the case is critical for the travel. You know, as long as you keep track of it, obviously. Right. Uh, that that makes things really easy. So that's that's probably a good option too. And again, you get 15 wipes. Prices can be subject to change. So what I'm telling you as a possible price is not necessarily a set in stone. They run. But these were all like around under 20. Yeah, right? they're 20 dollars on there, I'm sure. I uh -huh. mean, again, I'll leave a, a link in the description box so you'll get a chance to see that. Okay. Next one is gonna be these things here. So these are red wine stain removers. Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna pass you the big box so you can open one. Okay. Red wine stain removers. Let me see. Sun preventative teeth wipes. One wipe. And these look very similar to the other ones, but they're a little thicker, I think. So this is a pack of 50 for $17.99 and a pack of 200 for $24.99 on Amazon. So just an FYI for that. So see how these are more like wipe wipes. Yeah, these these are like wet wipes and unfold. Mm -hmm. So they're roughly uh, five, five and a half by seven once they're unfolded. So those are pretty big. The other ones are still way smaller. So they're meant to do, I think, your lips too, not just your teeth. Mm -hmm. And they're meant for coffee, for tea, for you know anything that might stain your teeth. Um, and then you just kind of rinse, wipe your mouth and that kind of thing. You take the picture. Mm -hmm. Okay, so does this say anything about having a flavor? Let's see, the box doesn't. It just says 50 pack new. 
that's it. Smells like nothing. Okay, well that's a good sign. Yeah, so you know what? I'm gonna actually try this one. Yeah. And see if there's any kind of flavor to it. I mean, it's slightly bitter from putting a disgusting yeah. paper towel in your mouth. <laughs> And when I say disgusting, I mean it's just weird to put a wet paper towel on your on your teeth. But no, there's no there's no residual after flavor. So you could or probably taste put a little water in there. And yeah, it I, out. you could rinse it with a little bit of water if the if the paper thing weirds you out. And frankly, I think after the first time it wouldn't weird you out. I just <laughs> didn't know what to expect, frankly. So and then you just toss it. And my then husband it's done. doesn't frequently put paper towels in his mouth. Yeah, I usually use a paper towel to wipe my mouth and then I move on. I don't generally stick it down my throat. <laughs> Maybe that's an episode. <laughs> like the old uh, Daffy Duck thing where he lights himself on fire with the nitroglycerin and blows himself to smithereens. Yeah, okay. Maybe I should try that. I don't uh -huh. know. Should I do that, folks? Leave a comment <laughs> in the comment section below. And don't be too enthusiastic if the answer is yes, please. That'll be a okay. So the last one is what they call Ghost Smile Stain Eraser. Ooh. Okay, unfortunately, I did not pull this up on Amazon. But again, I don't think anything was over $20. And they're these little nodule things here. Honey, you want to read them? Yeah. Please. Okay. You're, you look super cute when you smile. Go smile. Yeah, I don't look super cute. Okay, stain erasers. Instant stain erasers for fresh breath and sparkling white teeth. Coffee, wine, tea, and it does say it's fresh mint. Okay. So these have a little bit so of So these thing. have a little flavor to them. You know, like if you're wine tasting and you're going from tasting room to tasting room, it does take 10, 10 minutes usually at least mm -hmm. to get to another winery. Uh, not always the case, but if you're traveling a good distance, you could use one of these kind of in between, take your pictures and then go back and, and do whatever. But so far, the ones that don't seem to mean anything is it's toothbrush here, obviously, for obvious reasons. Mm -hmm. And then that uh, the weird paper towel, mm -hmm. the, well, I should call it a wet wipe really, because it's it really does. Wipe. It looks like a wet wipe. It doesn't taste bad. It was just weird mm -hmm. that first time. Has no aftertaste. So these are probably the two that you would use if you don't have a break, you just need to take a picture and you've like totally purpled your teeth. Um, and then the other stuff you can use kind of in between tastings or whatever you're doing. Yeah, and this one's a little interesting because you're supposed to like well, you gotta break flip the thing. it, pop it, and then erase. Yeah. So you're supposed to kind of pull the glass applicator from the sleeve, flip over and put applicator back into sleeve, squeeze to pop the inner capsule, and then you just erase on your teeth like like that. Oh, I see what they want you to do. They want you to do this. Yes. Put this in like this. So what you do is you take this item, which is like this, this way, yep. and they want you to open it up, turn it around, so that the eraser thing is over here and then you're supposed to pop it. Yeah, there it is. And you, I guess you do that. Put it on your teeth, babe. What does it feel like? Weird? No, it feels like you're painting your teeth. Oh, okay. So kind of like a whitener. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm sure it's not as potent, but it does have a little mint kind of smell to it. Yeah. I know this is super exciting, right? Watching me <laughs> rubbing my teeth. But I have to say, at least that one that you feel like you're kind of getting over like each tooth with the thing. Yeah, I, the wipe is definitely more of like an overall, whereas this is tooth specific. Like you gotta mm -hmm. literally like a paintbrush go back and forth with it. It does have a little bit of mint, but it's not overwhelming. So I think a glass, of, like like a half a glass of water, or if you like spit you out into a spit that bucket, that would come right out. This okay. isn't like a mouthwash or a toothpaste oh, good. that's like overpowering. Yeah. It has a slight mint kind of flavor to it. That's but, important. But it's easy I, to me. One or two swigs with the water, yeah. and you're out. Of, you're out of trouble. So okay. this is not exclusionary. Yeah, and, and one of these little fourteen of these, and they say you can actually use them at least three times. So. That's oh, good. You don't, okay, well, I don't know about that. That's a little bit much, but... Okay, that's what it says. I would do it once, frankly. So for a package of 14, $21.99 on Amazon right now. Again, links in the description box. And don't forget to like, comment. Uh, if you've used one of these, subscribe to the channel. 
Um, but definitely, uh, you know, again, right around twenty dollars. This is twenty-two dollars, so this is a little bit more expensive. Mm-hmm. But not out of control. No. You get fourteen. I mean, I think this one was your best value. I know you'll put the yeah, the red wine st- stain thing. These guys, you got a lot of these. For yeah, the, yeah, there was a ton of them for for the price. I think fifty. In the day and age where like your camera can do so much, mm-hmm. if your teeth aren't perfect sure you can probably use some sort of like editing software in the camera and just whiten up your teeth and it'll be all right but what if you're trying to meet a man or meet a lady you don't want no purple teeth right but that's what i'm saying like all these things if they're not perfect true will improve it so you don't look like a buffoon right with like purpley teeth all over the place like you know you know what i'm talking about Well, some of the wines really stain your teeth yeah your dark grapes are going to cause your you know going to cause your teeth to get really purple really quickly especially if you hit a couple of wineries right by that second or third winery you're you know you look like the color of my shirt yep except when you smile so that's no way so these are good kind of for like the in between to kind of damper it down a little bit yeah i think so um they're again they're cheap enough even if they don't do a damn thing at least you can feel better about it (laughs) and trick yourself into thinking it's doing okay all right so don't forget to again like and subscribe to the channel we'll do some more content uh for the holidays um we're done so we are done this is a short episode you're welcome uh (laughs) internet you're welcome youtube whoever may be watching out there uh don't forget to to uh watch our uh, wine pairing stuff i'm gonna do something from my job pretty soon from anarchist wine tasting room and a whole lot of other stuff. So uh, stay tuned. Wine by the Bay TV. Thanks for watching. Watch the next episode coming up. And we'll see you again next time.